guys, welcome back to my channel. For anyone new here, my name is Alana, and in today's video, we are going to be discussing the difference between the two Dyson Air Apps. So the original Dyson Air App and the new Dyson Air App Multi Styler. So you may have watched my unboxing video that I released, I think it was about three weeks ago now, where I unboxed the new Dyson Air App Multi Styler, which I have here. God, it's heavy. Um, and then I have the original one here also. And I said that I was gonna try this out for a few weeks before releasing more videos and discussing the different attachments, doing some hair tutorials using the new attachments and things like so that. In this video, I kinda want you to walk away from it and be able to make a really good informed decision as to whether or not you should upgrade from your original Dyson Airwrap styler and get the new one because it is a lot of money and I really don't want this channel to be just another YouTube channel that influences you to constantly keep up with the latest trends and the latest things just cause because I just feel like we live in a society that's constantly like just buying new things not even because we need them just because we feel like oh well, what we have is outdated and it's old and we need to keep current yes I was one of the first people to buy the new Dyson Air apps but that is because a, I absolutely love the Dyson Air apps I honestly think it's the best thing that I've ever purchased secondly I bought it because of my YouTube channel as you know my YouTube channel like focuses a lot on Dyson products Products. and so it made sense for my YouTube channel to buy it and to make videos on it for you guys. Don't want this to be a place that makes people feel peer pressured into buying the latest things. If you have something that works absolutely fine, then just keep using it. Yeah, let's get started. So just a quick recap, I got the Dyson Airwrap Multi Styler Complete Long, so that comes with the long barrels. And I got the Persian Blue and Rich Copper colorway. You can see here, this is the new one with all the attachments inside. And as for my original Airwrap, I also had the Complete Long set. However, I had it in the Fusion Pink, I think it's called, um, with the metallic -y gray colorway. Here we go. So the first main difference in terms of the case is with the original Dyson Airwrap styler, the lid is attached to the case so it does not come off. Whereas in the new one, the lid can come off. Um, which I quite like, although it's really, it's quite difficult to get off. The other main difference, which a lot of you pointed out after I released my first video unboxing it, I was a bit like, oh, there's no mat, because in the original one, you get a mat that obviously detaches from the box. Whereas on the new one, you didn't get a mat, so I thought there wasn't a mat to set your air wrap on. A lot of you kindly pointed out that the lid is in fact the new mat. It's obviously multi-purpose. It's the lid for the box, and you can also set your um, Dyson air wrap on it, which is really, really cool. I think that that's a really useful design. In terms of the stylers themselves, they are pretty much exactly the same. Right? They are both Oh, they're actually, that's like magnetic. There must be like a magnet there. They like stick together. Thing is exactly the same in terms of this. I've had a lot of questions about these hair dryer attachments because I know a lot of people are a little bit annoyed that they don't have a solo hair dryer attachment and you now have this, which is basically a hair dryer attachment. And then whenever you turn it around, it basically acts as also the flyaway attachment. And I can confirm after three weeks of owning this and a year of owning this, honestly guys, I am not here thinking, oh, I'm really bummed that they didn't do this attachment on its own for this one. I don't miss it at all. It still does exactly the same thing. In fact, I feel like it dries my hair a little bit quicker with this attachment because you just have a narrow area of where the air comes out. I feel like the air is more condensed to the area that I'm blow drying. So it blow dries it a little bit quicker. I also find that it's maybe feels slightly warm Warmer. Again, that might just be because the air is condensed, not necessarily that it is warmer. But I do know that with this new Dyson Airwrap Multi Styler, the technology in it is more.
cardboard bands and is better than the original. So it makes sense that all these attachments are going to work a little bit better than the original. But all in all guys, there's not really much difference, nothing significant. It is a multi-functional attachment. So you can basically just switch this around rid of these little holes where the air comes out of you can just switch that around and then it acts as a flyaway attachment i have used this quite a few times now i think that i think that it's i think that some people are going to really love it and they're going to really notice the difference in their hair and i think that other people aren't going to notice it so much as somebody who has really frizzy hair and i do get a lot of flyaways i have actually noticed the benefit of this is it a massive benefit? Mm, you know what, I'm gonna let you guys decide for yourself because I'm gonna do a video where I'm going to, that's gonna be dedicated to this attachment where I dry my hair. I use the flyaway attachment and then you can decide for yourself whether or not you think it did much to my hair. Next things that we will talk about is the round brush. I'm not gonna bother putting them on to the, um, appliance i'm so sorry there's so much hair on both of these there isn't really any difference in terms of these if you ask me they both act in exactly the same way i don't feel like this one is any better than this one like i said the technology is more advanced and better in this era so every hairstyle i do i think works a little bit better than what it does with the original but nothing significant in terms of the round brush there's not really much to discuss with this they do exactly the same thing they are exactly the same they work in exactly the same way end of smoothing brushes you get a firm one and a soft one i have noticed a bit of a difference in these attachments in terms of the old one and the new one i wouldn't say it's a massively massive massively significant in terms of the difference but there is a little bit of a difference is it worth buying these new attachments over these ones it depends how much they are i probably wouldn't this definitely is a little bit easier at styling your hair purely because the air comes out from different directions so it just does a little bit of a better job and it's a little bit more effective. So for people that struggle to style their hair with these, the new ones definitely are a little bit more effective in, what, in the result that you want from your hair but it's not massively significant. Guys, and the biggest change with the new Dyson Era and the old Dyson Era is of course the curling barrels. So you only get two curling barrels with the new one. The old ones, you got two for each side of your hair so you could have the curls go in different directions. So you had to constantly change the barrels depending on what side of your hair you were doing and what direction you wanted the curls to go. Whereas with the new one, you have the little nozzle that you can twist at the top which basically means that it the airflow moves in different directions so you don't need to change the barrels so you literally get two barrels you get a thicker one and a thinner one and guys my verdict on these in the new air wrap attachment I think are amazing I wasn't even that excited about the fact that the barrels did this I was more excited about the flyaway attachment but this has been my favor to use I just you know guys I, I feel like you almost need to have like this before having this because having these and having to change these over and then having these really make you appreciate it the like ease of just twisting the top of the barrel I also think that these barrels are much better than the original barrel. I'm not sure whether Dyson are claiming that they're a million times better, but I just find that they are. I think they're much better at styling my hair, my curls are lasting a lot longer, and I just find it a lot more fun to use with the ease of just being able to twist the little nozzle at the top and change the direction that the air flows going so I can have my curls in different directions. It just makes it a lot more efficient and quicker to use. I think looking back now I used to people used to say oh it's a nightmare having to change the barrels over and I used to be like get over it like it's really it really doesn't take up that much time but now <laughs> I actually have these I'm like it's time consuming having to change those barrels so I'm sorry for anyone that I shun a little bit it is time consuming this definitely saves time and guys anything in life that saves me time like I am all for absolutely love these I feel like even if you don't want to invest in the new Dyson Air app whenever these become available to buy 
I would buy them. I think they're just better and a lot more efficient and effective. Okay guys, so a quick Q&A. So one of the most frequently asked questions that I've got is whether the old attachments in the Dyson Era fit the new Dyson Era and whether the new Dyson Airwrap attachments fit the original Dyson Airwrap. And the answer to that is yes, all the attachments fit both Airwraps. So this is the original Dyson Airwrap, this is the new curlers. As you can see, that clips on absolutely fine and works absolutely fine. This is the new Dyson Era multi styler This is the original hair dryer attachment. Again, as you can see, that fits on absolutely fine and works perfectly fine. So yes, you can mix and match between the original attachments and the new attachments on both Dyson Air apps. So I know that a lot of people are wanting to do that so they can mix and match. So that brings me on to the next frequently asked question, which is whether Dyson are going to be selling the new attachments separately so that you can buy them for their original Dyson Air app. And the answer to that is yes. They have said that they will be selling these attachments separately. They just haven't released them separately yet, as far as I'm aware. And that's probably on purpose because they want people to buy the whole set because obviously it costs a lot more money than if you're just going to buy it individually. So I do think that they will probably wait another few weeks if not months before releasing the individual attachments because I think that they know a lot of people will just buy some of the new attachments rather than buy the whole set. So you will be able to buy the new I, th I think there's a name for this, is it Kwanda? Is that how you pronounce it? I purposely not wanted to say that in the video because I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly. It's the Kwanda attachment, which obviously acts as a hair dryer and acts as the smoothing attachment. You will be able to buy that for their original Dyson Air Up Styler. As you can see, it fits on absolutely perfectly. I have tried it out and used it, the original Dyson Air Up, and it works absolutely fine. So guys, just to sum up really quickly, if you are deciding whether or not you should buy the new Dyson Air Up Styler, I personally love it. I think it's fabulous. I love the new attachments. However, if you don't have the money, I would not be stretching yourself to buy this full set. What I would do is I would wait until the new attachments come out and buy some of the new attachments. Like the flyaway attachment, I would definitely recommend buying that and buying the new curling barrels because I do think that they are a little bit more effective. However, I will be doing a video on each attachment showing you how I style my hair with it and you can see how it works. So you may be able to make a little bit of a better decision then based on in the individual attachments once I release those videos. I will be releasing them over the next few weeks. I just need to find the time to record the videos. If you're a first time Dyson era buyer and you're deciding whether or not to buy the original or the new one, I'd of course just wait and buy the new one because I don't think there's much of a price difference. I think it's maybe like 30 pounds. Obviously it is slightly better. It does have more advanced technology. The attachments are better. It has more attachments. Not more in terms of numbers, but in terms of what it can do. You obviously have the flyaway attachment, which you do not have in the original. So I would absolutely, if you're a first time Dyson buyer, buy the new one. So guys, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the new Dyson Air app or the original Dyson Air app, please feel free to comment on my YouTube video or you can reach out to me on Instagram and ask me any question that you want to slide into my DMs rather than publicly post it on YouTube. It's absolutely up to you. I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions if you've bought the new one, whether or not you thought it was worth investing in or whether you think that you should have just stuck to having your original one. I would love to know, so please comment below and I know that that will be useful for everyone else watching this video. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I will be releasing a lot more videos where I go through each attachment in detail and I actually do a hair tutorial to show you how I've used the new attachments. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.